Hey guys, it's Jeff off the gridiron. It's a snow day, freezing rain, morning outside, so we're all trapped at home and uh, just kind of taking it easy. One of the things I'm doing when I'm in my shop is always thinking about how I can repurpose any number of things that are destined for the garbage or a thrift store. Here is an old attache case, a little shoulder bag if you will, that was destined for, uh, in fact, the garbage. It was all peeling and fraying and, and uh, not much use to anybody else. So I thought, well, why don't I repurpose some of the clips and clasps and perhaps harvest the zippers off this for something uh, to be used at a later date. It didn't take me too long before I remembered that Wazoo Survival Belt requires a really long zipper to go all the way around the belt. And it just so happened that this bag had a whole expansion zipper that went all the way around, perfect length for uh, a wrap around and a fit around on a belt. So that's what this episode's all about, is the DIY survival belt. Check it out. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the green iron. Well, I do like and respect the uh, Ohio State football program. This is a, a uh, bag that I got at uh, the coach's clinic years ago, but uh, it's, uh, it's so so well used and, and brittle and all the plastics wore off inside. I thought what best way to kind of use this uh, because it would be destined for the garbage. Nobody else is going to buy it. There's a big steel bracket peeking out of there is to salvage all the the hooks, possibly zippers, handle, clips, and repurpose that into uh, a haversack. So we're going to start by cutting all these off and putting them aside for later use. This pouch might be handy to put on the inside of a anorak or bush shirt, so we're going to cut it off with extra material around the outside. today you've just seen me cut apart my uh, uh, little duffel bag there and uh, constantly thinking about repurposing such things as the buckles maybe handles the different clips and clasps and the strap and uh, what I did was I took the uh, I thought I'd start this video before I got too far along I had one of these uh, kind of a belt buckles and what I'm doing is stitching the long zipper that went around completely around the bottom part of the the uh, carrier bag it's probably about two and a half feet and I'm stitching that right to my kind of pants belt and what you can see is I'm gonna make fold it over and it's gonna be one of those uh, kind of like one of the wazoo um, kind of hiding uh, little miscellaneous belts that can zip in and actually hold some contents uh, just little things uh, you know band-aids first aid kit possibly little survival items in here as well but uh, we're on a break to go on a cruise and I thought this would be a perfect way to hide a little bit of money on your pocket uh, on your person rather um, just in case the you know something bad were to happen so <clears throat> I'm taking that long zipper and stitched it to one side of the belt and now I'm going to fold it over, zip it to the other side, 
then I'll have my own custom wazoo belt, all from, you know, the leftover contents of this uh, carrier bag that was about to be discarded in the garbage. So I'm going to finish the sewing it up and I'll show you what it looks like. I've got this little swivel ring I'm going to attach in the side of the bucket as I stitch it in. That'll be handy for keys or something like that. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I, I love these projects where you just turn on the camera and uh, you've got some inspiration ideas, but frankly, you have no idea what direction they're going. And uh, <laughs> in, a, in a very short order, uh, you come up with a product of some kind uh, that you're proud of and you're wanting to share with others. So obviously, this is the, uh, the final product. The, uh, the original one had uh, some d d double D-ring loops here that you kind of tighten it up with. But I prefer the uh, quick release buckle. Um, it has another little, uh, this vertical hole in here is ideal for putting a fire steel in to keep it uh, front and kind of front and center and handy. You can see the uh, clasp on one side, D-ring on the other, all, you know, all very handy for accessories. The inside pouch zippers open and it's the, uh, the full width of the belt right down to the bottom. So certainly uh, you've got some, some width to, uh, to work with there, to put any number of items in there, much like you've seen advertised with the, uh, any number of other survival belts uh, out there, Wazoo being one, one company that comes to mind. So there you go. Uh, again, just a quick build, couple hours in the shop, if that, and uh, we've come up with something practical, functional, out of something that was destined for the garbage. Uh, which was my kind of shoulder bag. So until next time, I want to see you get in your shop and uh, be productive and explore some of your options of repurposing some of the items that you, you may have. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. It's Jeff Allen off the Gridiron. Enjoy your outdoors. We'll see you again real soon.